With good leather at third base, I move Mickey to left field, where he gets into less trouble, and demote Carlos to bat boy. Carlos doesn't mind, so long as he can hang out with the team. Google takes Carlos under his wing, explaining the duties of a bat boy in elaborate detail, in Spanish, of course. He's kind of bossy, Carlos tells me. He sure knows a lot about baseball, though. Finding a third baseman and getting a minor upgrade in left field don't make up for losing our pitcher. Steve says he can handle it, but I'm not sure he can, and I don't want to lose him at shortstop. I think the only thing we can do is teach Rita how to throw a fastball. Your screwball will be more effective if you can set it up with a fastball, I explained to her. It's late Wednesday afternoon, which gives her about four days to develop a skill guys spend ten years learning. The pressure takes all the romance out of holding her hand, trying to show her the right grip. I told you I can't throw straight, she says. If you can just straighten out a little bit, you'll be okay, I tell her. Try overthrowing it a bit. She throws some balls to me, but even when she straightens them out, she can't get any smoke on them. I begin to wonder if Kazel should pitch, with Google at second base and Miggy back at third. The thought doesn't throw me. I only think of Kazel because he can pitch left-handed. Rita is rearing back to try again when a stocky guy, about 35 years old, comes marching in and grabs a ball from her. Let me demonstrate, he says. He shows her a four-seam grip and starts to say something. Thanks, but we've got it under control, I tell him. No, no you don't, he tells me. If she throws like that, she'll get shelled. He turns back to Rita, sticking the baseball in her face. Excuse me, sir. She backs up a few paces. Come on, just let me show you a four-seamer. I want us to win this thing, he says. He starts modeling the pitch, telling her to look at how he anchors his feet and keeps his elbow in and finds the balance point and turns his hand over. Really, sir, we appreciate it, but we need to have focus, I tell him. Listen, kid, he says. I don't know who put you in charge, but I've seen you kids practicing, and you'll get destroyed. You got no pitching. The team put me in charge, I tell him. Your pitcher's going to get shelled if she throws like that. Hey, buddy, what's the problem? A thick hand takes the man by the elbow, and another takes the baseball from him. It's Frank. Right behind him is Lou. I was just trying to help, the man says meekly. The kid told you he got it under control, says Frank. They're going to lose, the man shouts. He turns to the crowd, looking for support. Hey! I believe in these kids, says Lou. Are you saying that you don't? He says it more to the crowd than to the man. It's a short battle for public support, won by Lou. Horn out, jerk! Leave the kids alone! Let them practice. Mind your own business, chump! The group cheers when the man finally backs off the field, looking glum. Thanks, I say to Frank and Lou. Hey, no problem, Roy. I guess Bobby there just wants to relive his glory days. Bobby? You know that guy? That's Bobby Fitz. He used to play ball, you know. I remember the boy on the old video who mows down the opposition in the top of the first, but is injured trying to take an extra base. My dad said he's the best pitcher Moundville ever had. Great hitter, too, adds Lou. Almost a better hitter than he was a pitcher. Are you kidding? He had an ERA in the decimals. Frank shakes his head at Lou's ignorance. I did say almost, Lou protests. He could steal bases too, says Frank. He was an all-around great player. Had all the tools. Should have gone pro. Problem was, you know, the nagging injuries. And the fact he maxed out at five foot six, Lou crouches down to illustrate. Not too many pros that size. And that was him? I can't believe it. My dad talks about him all the time. They used to be good friends. I never met him, though. That's the guy. If he's acting like a jerk, it's just because he's really fanatical about Moundville baseball. Just a sec. I take off in a sprint and chase the baldy man about a block and a half. He's just getting into his car, maybe heading back to his insurance job in Sutton. Hey, Mr. Fitz. Call me Bobby. Can you teach Rita how to throw a fastball? That's what I was trying to do. We walk back to the field and he picks up where he left off. 